What's going on YouTube welcome back to another video so guys today we are doing a fishing guide for Far Cry 6 I'm gonna tell you guys how to fish which are the best mods to use for your fishing rod Also how to upgrade it for example what you can do with the fish after you catch them and also a couple of other things So first of all if you want the fishing rod you get it from a mission at the first island I don't remember the name but it's a mission with a fisherman after you complete it the fishing rod will basically be in your weapon wheel now if you want to upgrade your fishing rod you can do it with a tackle box. Tackle box looks like this. The annoying thing with the tackle boxes is though they don't appear on the map. So you kind of have to keep their locations in your mind. The location that I use is in Costa del Mar. It's next to this camp over here so I can fast travel there. And there is also a fishing spot there so it's kind of a perfect location you could say. Now for the fishing rod you have three types of mods. The first one is the lure socket. And it's very important to use the right lure socket for the right type of fish. If you go to a fishing spot on your map, you can basically see what kind of fish it is. So for example, over here it says, known for being very evasive. Then over here for this fish, it says this is a predator fish. Then also, for example, you have fish that swim in deep water. So this will also require a different lure socket. Then you also have high speed fish. Notice that it also says, for example, over here, easy to catch. So that's also something that you need to know. You have fish that are very easy and fish that are very hard. Then we also have a fish that says known for being hard to reel in. So that's again a different lure socket that you have to use. So if we take a look, the first lure socket, it's just basic. The second one, it's for fish in deep water. The third one, it says increases reeling speed. So that's for the fish who are hard to reel in. The fourth one, it says takes the fish longer to consume the lure. I think that's for the predator fish. The fifth one, it basically says it's for the evasive fish. And then the last one, it says reduces fish speed. So that's for the fish who are high speed. So I hope you guys understand it a bit. Next mod option is the real socket. And for this, it's very easy. Just get the highest one because this is the best one. It basically increases the fish tiring. It doesn't matter what type of fish that you're fishing for. The highest one, so the three star will always be the best one. Very simple. For the last upgrade or the last mod, it's basically the fishing line. And for this, again, just get the three star one. So the max one, it increases your line strength. And of course, you want a very strong line. That's better. So again, get the last one. The appearance, you can also change. So the camo, uh, you will need spray cans for this. And then also the charms. The charms, you just have to find them to unlock them. The same as with your guns. And then you can also unlock a charm. So now that we know this important info, we can go ahead and fish. So casting the line is R2 on PlayStation. You can always see the controls at the bottom as well. So the thing that I do is I just reel in the line very slowly by tapping L2 until I see some movement from some fish in the water. Then I just stop reeling in and then when it grabs the bait, you can press R2 to hook the fish. Then you have to start reeling in the line by holding L2 and at the same time with the right analog stick, you have to move your rod basically in the opposite direction of which the fish is moving. So you have to pull the fish back. So at the bottom of the screen you can also see fight fish movement. And then it says in which direction you have to move the right analog stick. Basically to catch the fish. Now this fish is extremely hard to catch. And with the fish that are hard to catch you will notice that they pull a lot on the line. And the line sometimes gets really red and the rod also vibrates. This is basically an indication that the line is going to snap. So when you have this, so when the rod vibrates too much, just release L2 and let the fish swim or else this will happen. When you pull too much, when you reel in too much, the line is going to snap. So the thing that I do is with the harder fish is just when the line gets too red, I just release L2. So you guys can see it over here. The fish is just swimming. When the line gets back to normal, I start reeling in. So over here it got red pretty fast again. But then the fish got tired and then you can reel it in. So kind of make the fish tired. So pull him in, release him, pull him in, release him, pull him in. And after a while you can just catch him. Now for the easier fish, you can just pull them in in one time. So you don't even have to release L2. They won't even pull that much. So if you have a good line, you can catch them very easily. The difference of course between the harder fish and the easier fish is what you get for them. So in the description of each fish, you can basically see trade for industrial composite over here at Juan's arm dealers. So for each fish, this will be different. Carlos and obviously for no, the better no, fish, no, for the harder fish, for you will get better things. So at the arms dealer, you can trade in the fish for materials. Like I said, better fish will give you better things. And if you want, you can also sell these materials for pesos at the arms dealer as well. Or you can just use them to build certain things. So it's kind of what you want to do with it. 
Now at the foreman, you will also see that you have something called the fishing hut. At the fishing hut, you can basically buy fishing spots on your map so you can see where to catch which fish. If you have the first upgrade, it will give you easy fishing spots. If you have the second upgrade, you can buy hard fishing spots. And for the third one, you can buy extreme fishing spots. By the way, you don't have to buy these fishing spots. You can also just learn about them by um, basically talking to someone on the Geria roads. Other things that you get for the upgrades is basically pieces of the fishing gear set. That is also pretty good. And also abilities. So for example, for the last one, you get the ability to kill fish with bullets without damaging the meat. So that's pretty good. So at the fishing hut, if you have all the three upgrades, you will have these three options. And then you can basically buy fishing spots on your map. But like I said, you can also find them in other ways. Now for the fishing gear set, if you buy all the three upgrades on the fishing hut, you will get every piece. The hat basically improves your fish catch radius, so that's pretty good. Then you have the chest gear. This will prevent predators from attacking you while fishing. I don't know if that's too good. Then you have the leg gear. That is basically so you scavenge additional fish meat, so you get more fish meat from uh, every fish. Then you also have the slippers or the foot gear. This improves your swimming speeds. Also kind of useful, you could say. And then the best one, I think, is just the wrist gear. So the gloves, it improves your uh, fishing rod reel speed. So how fast you reel in. So that's obviously also good. So guys, that was it. I know a little bit of a long video for just a fishing guide. But there is actually more to it than just fishing. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope it was helpful. If you guys have any questions at all, just ask me in the comments. Make sure to like, subscribe. Check out my Discord in the description. And peace out, you guys.